And if you wanted to learn how to play Sweet Home Chicago, Eric Clapton style, well, that's coming up. Yeah. Hey, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. Thanks for joining me here at Your Guitar Guide, the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound through guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel and go ahead and subscribe for more guitar tips and tricks. Today, I'm going to show you how to play the turnaround in Sweet Home Chicago. So, without further ado, let's look at it. So that's what we're going to learn after on um, video lesson three or two. I'm getting confused on what lessons, but the previous lesson we learned this boogie woogie. So if you didn't get to see that and you want to learn that, be sure and watch the previous video. So we're coming off of this. After the E5, we're going to go here and play a B7. To play the B7, your second finger is on the second fret of the A string, which is the fifth string. Your first finger is going to be on the first fret of the D string. Third finger on the G string at the second fret. And then your fourth finger is on the E string at the second fret. If that's hard to place all four fingers down, you can always remove your pinky, which makes it easier. And just don't hit that high E string. So that's how we make the B7. And to keep in time, we're going down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Then we go to the A7. When you're playing the blues, you're playing uh, dominant seven chords. So on the A7, your second finger is on the second fret of the D string. Third finger on the B string, the second string at the second fret. And you're strumming from the A string, which is the fifth string down. And when I say that, when you're strumming, you're not usually hitting every string. You're just down, down, up, up, down. So we've got B7. And then E which is second finger, second fret of the A string, fifth string. Third finger is on the second fret of the D string. And then first finger on the G string at the first fret. And you're just going to dance from one time. Stop the ringing with this part of your hand. So it's B7. And then we're going to slide. And what we want to do there is put your second finger on the G string at the second fret. And your first finger is on the B string, second string at the first fret. Your second finger is on the G string at the second fret. And your first finger is on the B string at the first fret.
this slide right here is very common in blues. So we're taking this position and just imagine your fingers frozen in that position because you're going to just keep it there. You're going to slide up to the fourth fret of the G string. So when your middle finger is at the fourth fret, that's where you stop. So it's four, three, two. And I'm using, I'm referencing my middle finger on the frets. So you're picking both strings at the same time. Pick both strings and slide to four. Three, two. Back to the B7. So here's what we got. B7 A7 B E I hope that's been informative, and if you liked it, can you give it a thumbs up? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me who your favorite blues artist is, or for that matter, your favorite guitar player. Who inspired you to play? Thanks for joining me here, and watch that video next, where we're going to learn the ending of Sweet Home Chicago. Thanks.